Hi, I'm Bo Hick of Bo and Buck Hick Flicks, and I'm about to give you my review of the movie Safe House. Safe House is a fairly violent action flick and is overall entertaining action movie. Thankfully, most other reviews say the film also lives up to that expectation. Matt Weston, played by Ryan Reynolds, is a so-called house sitter at the South African safe house operated by the CIA. Weston's frustrated that he's going nowhere within the organization. And he will be stuck at his current job for the rest of his career. But that's about to change. It's thanks to the very dangerous super fugitive named Tobin Frost, played by none other than Denzel Washington. Frost is a former CIA operative that went rogue and started selling classified information to the highest bidder. After years of avoiding capture, Frost turns himself in and is transported to Weston's safe house. After being there for a very short period of time, heavily armed men raid the safe house and Weston barely escapes with Frost after all the CIA protectors are killed. Weston just wants to get home safely to see his gorgeous, knockout French girlfriend. But he quickly focuses on why everyone wants Frost dead and tries to discover how high up this conspiracy really goes. From there, it's an interesting game of cat and mouse as Frost, the experienced veteran, plays off of Weston, the vulnerable but eager and determined rookie of the CIA. This movie's full of action. There are car chases, shootouts, and even a few brutal hand-to-hand -hand fights. And it is nice to see Ryan Reynolds' performance, which is believable, and he can distance himself from his well-known comedy roles. He's not light-hearted, and he's vulnerable, and more than understanding of the mess he finds himself in. Plus, major credit is due for his final role final role and brawl in the film, which is absolutely brutal. Reynolds isn't the only impressive dude in the cast. Of course, Denzel demands your respect, and he is dominated in the role in cold, talented Frost. He fits the role perfectly with his smooth confidence and his ability to become intimidating in a mere moments. Safe House also has some other talented actors like Vera Farmiga and Brendan Gleeson. But their roles are limited to pretty basically confined mostly to CIA intelligence rooms. I have to admit I'm a fan of Vera Farmigo. I think she has the ability to hold your attention and make you believe it is very serious. Between all the shooting, crashing, and screaming, there is a deeper conspiracy. Frost and his true reason for capture remain a mystery until it's all spelled out very brutally and bluntly in the end of the movie, which I find very refreshing. I don't like to know how a movie's going to end in the first 10 minutes. In summary, Safe House gets a rating of 3.5 corn cobs out of 5 from Bo and Buck's Hick Flicks for a good action and decent storyline. Rated R is correct for this film since it is full of action and violence. Once again, this is Bo Hick of Bo and Buck Hick Flicks. I hope that you enjoyed this video review and you find it helpful before you go watch this really, really, really decent movie.